This week on Life on Jupiter, birthday celebrations turns to frustration with the authorities. How could anyone not let this face in? Look at this face. Happy birthday! Uh, thank you! <laughs> 48 today! What? Yeah? Well, no, well, you're 50. No, I got to 49, now I'm going back the other way, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's okay, your birthday today? Mm hmm <laughs> We got some friends coming, we got uh, it's about seven of us, I think, and we're all going to go to Mayho Beach. So we're in St. Martin. Mm hmm and Mayho Beach, I'm sure everybody's seen it, but it's the famous airport right on the beach and you can stand at the fence there and get jet blasted when they take <laughs> off and you know when they come into land and they're screaming oh, yeah, oh. I'm looking forward to it. Get to see an airplane again. That'd be yeah. cool. Someone miss flying. No, well, you know. Although we were unsure of our legal status, Ooh. I wasn't going to miss this opportunity for my the, birthday. Uh, the runway, yeah? Runway? To watch the aeroplanes, yeah? Okay, good, coming. good. Do we need masks? Huh? Do we need masks? Probably. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Better get our masks. Get <laughs> yeah, mask on, eh? Right. right. For those of you that don't know about it, this is the local sport and it mixes really well with alcohol. Here we are, Mayho Beach, St. Martin. Got an airplane inbound. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. You're so excited. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> this is the biggest one for the day. Yeah, it's coming. You should be a pilot here, B. Well, my lips here. <laughs> well, you don't have to ask me twice. Previously, I've only been on the other end of these thrust levers. This is his wish on his birthday. <laughs> get jet blast. <laughs> Some people get drunk. I get jet blast. <laughs> oh, you haven't got glasses on. No. Might have to close your eyes.
So we're here in St. Martin on the Dutch side, but we are not legal in St. Martin. We're, this is Monday night, been here since Friday afternoon, trying to check in. And I've been to the police four times now, every day that we've been here. We've got an agent who is trying to get us in, not letting us in. Um, it's ridiculous. Normally Filipina requires a visa to arrive, but on the government website it says if you are arriving by boat and you are crew, and she is fully qualified crew because mm -hmm. we paid for a seaman's book and mm -hmm. training, then you can apply for a visa waiver. So I said yes, we want to apply for a visa waiver. No, you must have an agent. So we got an agent. Now the government department is saying no. <laughs> so. They don't want a Filipina here in the country. Well, yeah. It's so sad. The, and the stupid reason that they've given our agent is there's too many people trying to enter the country illegally. We're trying to do it legally. Ah, Relax. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> our options now. They've given us 48 hours and we have to leave. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to take the dinghy uh, just across here, it's probably about a mile away, to the French side of St. Martin and I'm going to try and check in. Uh, it could be really easy it, on a computer terminal, but then the agent may be watching and they'll say, ah, where's your authorization letter? And I've tried emailing these people and they don't answer, so I don't have a letter. How could anyone not let this face in? Look at this face. Mm. Lucky we did already the Maho Beach. Yeah, we did Maho Beach. Got sandblasted by those guys yesterday. Actually, lucky it wasn't those guys. <laughs> it was just someone way, way smaller. Mm. Anyway. So yeah, this is the you know risk you play when you take your own transport to countries. You know, like... This is the first time that I got rejected. Oh well, whatever. We just roll with the punches, yeah? Go with the flow, like water off a duck's back. We'll go somewhere else. Before we get kicked out of here, I just had to check out this yacht that was parked next to us. It looks like it had been here for some time. In fact, St. Martin was full of shipwrecks. This one was probably our favourite, a lovely old wooden double-ender. But it hadn't gone to waste. It was somebody's home.
So I'm heading over to the French side of St. Martin to see if they'll let us check in there. Fingers crossed. So we will try to check in on the French side and hopefully they will give me or they will allow me to check in there. I don't know what will happen but I feel so down <laughs> having a Philippine passport. They even they didn't check my requirements that I'm that I have a Siemens book and training and stuff they didn't even check that that I'm qualified but yeah they just said that they don't want a Philippine here in the country Whew. sad finger crossed Checked in, so easy, no questions, free. Oh, wow, awesome. <laughs> Does this help with the news? They let us in, no problems at all, no problems, we're what? in, we're already checked in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. No questions, just passport registration, that's it. Yeah. Do the computer thing. Really? Yeah. They didn't ask for a letter in the port no. of Don't. Port difference? No. Oi. We're gonna move there. Yeah, but we'll go tomorrow now. Oh, <laughs> change. Mm, wee wee. <laughs> What's wee wee? Yes, yes. Oh, see, si, see. Si. Bonjour. Bonjour. We are <laughs> legally French at the moment. Uh. The French side let us in Saint Martin. So uh, anyway, the Dutch spell it weird. So Saint Martin. So. Saint. Whereas French is Saint Martin. No problems. I can do that. Yeah. So now we're going to try and get our money back because the Dutch made us buy a ha uh, COVID health insurance. That's 30 US dollars each. It's no big deal. But when they don't let us in the country, we want our money back. So we're going to try and pursue that. Um, $60? Yeah. So I have to do that via email. So mm -hmm. it's okay. We can do that anytime. Where did you go? Not in uh, Island Water World. Mm. So there is two computer terminals you can check in at Island Water World, which is a big chandlery chain here, mm. or Il Marine, and that's where I went. Um, and the guy was really helpful, friendly. All he did was check our passport, agreed with what I put in the computer, and checked a registration, agreed with what I put in the computer, and stamp, hand it over. So how much? No, oh, it's free. Enjoy your sailing. Yeah? <laughs> they didn't. Wow, that's nice. That's how it should be everywhere we go. Because apparently I need visa there too. Strictly, you do need a visa, but yeah, as boat crew, they're very welcoming, the French islands. Did you show my seamen? So far, no, no. Martinique was the same, and um, hmm. yeah, now here. But uh, we hope... French Polynesia, when we go through the Pacific, and we hope that will be as nice. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. I'm so happy. Mm. 
Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so the agent, Mr. David Kelly, gave us a full refund and a bottle of Mount Gay Rum. How's that? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know whether it still cost him money because he said it costs money to apply for the uh, dispensation. So that's why he wanted money up front. Show me the name. That's me, Jupiter. Oh, really? Yep. So, um, but he, yeah, gave full refund and a sorry present. Hmm. It's not even his fault, you know? <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah. Looks like 50 bucks. Nice. Breakfast. <laughs> really? Yay! It's opening, B. but not French waters yet. <laughs> Gotta get over there. Yeah, this is still Dutch. Wow, even there's a bridge. Oh. I guess this was the shortest bit of land to build a bridge. Yeah. We've come a long way on the Jupiter 2. Check out this playlist featuring our epic five and a half thousand mile crossing of the South Atlantic Ocean.